Howdy y'all. The message for today is to not allow bitter, ugly people to ruin your shine because you're always going to shine so much brighter than they ever will. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading between you and your person. Now Gemini, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, Gemini, be sure to rely on your intuition because put it in perspective, I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. You know your situation better than I ever possibly could, so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I'm not going to be offended by it whatsoever. In Gemini, if you find some cards that resonate with you, I would love for you to let me know how the cards resonate with you in the comments below because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you do find a card that resonates with you, Gemini, I would appreciate it for you to take the time to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative of it when you guys take the time to do that for me. And finally, Gemini, before you get into this reading, I just want to remind you that this reading is here not to make a decision in your life. I'm just here to give you some perspective, something for you to consider as you go throughout your week. I'm not here to make a decision in your life because it's your life to live, not mine, right? Keep that in mind. So with all that being said, Gemini, let's start getting into your reading now. I started out your reading with some general energy cards. So I pulled two tarot cards, Gemini, and then a Oracle Moon card for you. I'll start with the Oracle Moon card. Uh, we have the full moon in Cancer for you, Gemini. This card says a personal issue reaches a resolution. So right off, I mean, I feel like this card's pretty self-explanatory, right, Gemini? If you guys have been in this, um, right, the easy way to call this is just like, if you guys have been going through some type of conflict, Gemini, this is definitely a week of where, um, Maybe things aren't going to necessarily be instantly solved this week, Gemini, but things are definitely going to start clearing up. The air is going to start being cleared a little bit. You might feel a little bit of um, tense energy still, right? There still may be some remnants of that, but I do see um, progression when it comes to the situation. Um, I don't want to like just say right off the bat being like, okay, yeah, this connection is going to just like work itself out and it's going to need to be perfect, right? Because this issue reaching a personal resolution, like this is all about you, Gemini. This isn't talking about an, an encompassing thing. This is talking about you will no longer have to deal with these issues. Like your personal issue reaches a resolution. So they may still have issues, but you're going to be at peace with them regardless of the outcome, right? Regardless of if this connection continues or if you see this connection as something that is the conflict or the issue that needs to reach a resolution by completing that cycle and moving on, right? So the two tarot cards I have for you as well, Gemini, are the King of Discs and the Eight of Wands. So this is you. I see this as you because, and this is partially why I also wanted to stress, Gemini, that this is like personal issues being resolved within you, not with just like the situation as a whole, because the Eight of Wands is talking about your self-empowerment, right? I feel like you are definitely in this place of starting to build a lot more confidence or at the very least more confidence in this situation, Gemini. You are in this place of seeking stability and it's almost like you're kind of realizing where wh what was causing the disruption or how something was causing some disruption, right? For some of you guys, it could have just been a misunderstanding. Other of y'all, you may just be able to like look at this person and be like, you know what? This person just isn't meant to be in my life right now, All right? Regardless of what it is, I see you, Gemini, being completely confident in the decision that you're making because you're making it from a pla an empowered place. You're making the decision from a place that brings you f brings forth more stability into your life rather than more instability, right? You're just bringing things to a closure is something that I'm hearing. So Gemini, let's get into your actual uh, tarot cards. I pulled a tarot card for you, Gemini, a tarot card for them, and a tarot card for the energy between y'all two. And then we'll pull clarifiers as uh, we break this down, but let's just start out with the actual general energies for each sign. We have the King of Cups for you, so following into that King suit, uh, into your energy, Gemini, King of Cups. This is, uh, again, more energy of where you are completely um, at peace with decisions that you are making this week. You are in this place of probably just not feeling guilty 
Gemini, that is something that I'm hearing perhaps every other time or times before this week. Gemini, you've been in this place of possibly feeling guilty about wanting to set boundaries or possibly feeling guilty about a part that you played in it. Even if you actually take a step back and look at it, that maybe you weren't playing a part, but maybe you did, right? Regardless of what it is, you're finally, it's no longer, I don't see this as like a thing harboring too much inside you, festering too much inside you, the anxiety, like the bad feelings associated with this connection. Um, and it, I'm really interested to see like how this all pans out, Gemini, because it's like, you know, as I was saying in the general energies of things, it's such a, it's such an empowered place that you're at currently. You're really honoring what's in your thoughts. You're honoring your feelings at this point. It's finally like, Gemini, you're finally prioritizing yourself rather than prioritizing other people's feelings before the actions that you take, right? Maybe beforehand, you never wanted to have like a certain conversation or do certain things because you didn't feel like dealing with the aftermath of it based off of other people's reactions. And I see you letting go of them. On their side of things, Gemini, they have the Eight of Pentacles. So this is a person, this is a person that's taking everything in right now. This is a person that is constantly learning. When I see this Eight of Pentacles, Gemini, I can't help but feel like this is something that's kind of new for them. Whatever this situation is, or at least the emotions and the thoughts that they're having are relatively new for them. They don't really know how to uh, quite manage them that much. Um, and so they're just kind of in this researching place and just trying to um, read the situation out, evaluate everything and just see how things will pan out, right? I feel like they're more so in like, and it's being like a silent observer right now, being a silent observer, but they're not just like sitting there wasting their time either. That I do see them um, in this place of like actively taking things in, Gemini. So you can take comfort in that, but it doesn't seem like right now they're in a stale place. It may be slow, but they're not in a stale place for whatever happened between y'all two, if something happened. And then the energy between y'all two, Gemini, is the Wheel of Fortune. So the Wheel of Fortune being in between y'all's energy is such a beautiful take because the wheel could be turning on this side of things where um, y'all just come into a completion, but you still move on from it. Or it could be turning into the side of where that personal issue reaches a resolution where you guys actually do work things out, Gemini. So I really enjoy this card being in the middle of y'all's energy. So far, I'm not really getting what the issue is quite yet. Like the personal issue that the moon card keeps talking about that I keep referencing, I guess, to be more clear. Um, so let's find out. Let's see if we can get into that storyline with some clarifiers. Now, Gemini, I am going to start with your energy first with this King of Cups to see what's up with that. So we have the back of the deck energy, the Fool coming in for you, Gemini. So I love this right off the bat. Complete bias. The Fool is my favorite card. So whenever I see this, I'm always just like, yes, yes, ma'am. So <laughs> with this Fool card, it's such a energy and it makes so much sense for you because it's like, because you're finally in this place of honoring your own, honoring your own thoughts, honoring your feelings, especially with that King of Cups, honoring like what would make you comfortable and like all of that, right? You're just in this place of living in the moment. You're in this place of no longer having too much anxiety. You probably still might have a little bit of anxiety, right? Because we're only human, right? The unknown it can still sometimes be anxiety inducing. But I do see you in this place, Gemini, of finally... <sighs> Taking risks isn't the word for it, but I guess it's the only word that I can think of, but where it's just like the risks being like what would normally be something that you would you would avoid trying to deal with right so let's say like that risk from before of um you didn't want to do like a certain thing like you didn't want to go out with a certain friend because you know it would trigger this other person here and it just wasn't worth the headache right you're taking that risk now so that's what i mean by that risk is something that is just like something that you used to just be overtly worried about triggering in someone or upsetting someone or dealing with some type of reaction from somebody you're finally at this place where it's just like you know what like screw it i'm gonna be focusing on myself i'm gonna be honoring myself so the clarifiers that we have for your king of cups gemini 
is the Six of Wands, the Nine of Swords, Nine of Swords, and then the Knight of Pentacles. Beautiful energy, really beautiful energy. I do see you coming out of this Nine of Swords energy, as I was saying before. Now, the Nine of Swords energy is that anxious energy. It's that energy of um, it's those sleepless nights. You look at this individual, they just keep waking up in the middle of the night and like being clouded with like those anxious thoughts with that overthinking right it's this energy of where our, our wondering is like am i enough am i doing enough what are they going to do what are they thinking and all that i really see you finally at this place of just kind of like moving on from this because it's just like it's like next it's just i just keep hearing you going like next like let's keep it moving right and keep it moving as you do uh gemini because with this knight of pentacles and the six of wands now honey the knight, uh, six of wands is that victory card the six of wands is that card of um that spotlight where you're again uh <laughs> it's it is called like the public recognition card gemini but what i really want to hone in for my point from before gemini is like you know how i was saying like you're finally like putting yourself first in the decisions that you're making this is it like you're finally putting a spotlight on yourself you're finally uh almost dare i say like gemini just being like acknowledging yourself for the human that you are and the wants and needs and feelings and thoughts that you have finally because no one else seems to be doing it in your life so it's like you have to take that step and you're identifying that now you're identifying like what you need to do to take care of yourself because um other people aren't going to do that for you right it's a harsh life lesson to learn which sucks that we have to go through it sometimes, right? In this Knight of Pentacles, you're just going out, again, into that uncharted territory. I can't, I don't, I already shuffled the deck a little bit, Gemini, so I can't reference the Fool again, but that Fool card um, goes perfectly for that Knight of Pentacles because I always say the Knight of Pentacles is going into the uncharted territory, um, seeking more stability, seeking to widen their comfort zone, to widen their range of um their safety net you know to really just go yeah go and explore uncharted territories carrying with them as that nine of pentacles that full energy so it's almost just like you don't really have this fear anymore with that king of cups you're just completely in your own thoughts so let's close out this row with the necronomicon five of swords now five of swords this imagery alone i feel like is pretty self-explanatory isn't it where like you're kind of like you probably felt like you're in this place before where like maybe you even felt like a little bit attacked gemini is something that i'm hearing um where it just seems like no one was understanding your perspective no one was trying to understand your side and the people that you thought were going to see it from your side end up being like the person that's coming in from the back like really about to kamehameha with the sword <laughs> on you gemini right so we're gonna close out that row i don't i'm sorry for that bad joke really because it doesn't even make sense but um <laughs> i'm not trying to make light of your pain gemini but it's more so like i just am celebrating you and i really appreciate the fact of um it's almost like you're just finally identifying um how you deserve to be treated so that's beautiful so we're going to get in on their side of things now gemini with that eight of pentacles we're going to see what's up with them see what's going on with the eight of pentacles and of course the car dropped so I don't even know where the car- oh, there it is, honey. <laughs> so to say, I don't even know where that car freaking went. So, Knight of Wands, Gemini. Knight of Wands is the car that flew out. So this is a person extremely passionate. Um, I want to say young, but I mean, this could be of all ages, right? But I want to say more so they're probably a little bit more youthful minded or like when they put their eye on something, then they kind of like focus on that, right? I'm taking this more as like a character trait more than like telling me like a storyline to be honest here uh the empress card uh they, it's really interesting gemini because i really don't i'm gonna be honest here gemini so don't shoot the messenger especially if the person that you're thinking about really did hurt you but i don't see this person having necessarily bad intent at least in this headspace now because with this empress card again this is about growth this is like the eight of, Pen eight of pentacles but on steroids like it's a beautiful card to have um, so they're again in this place of learning and perhaps when they got into this place of learning Maybe they're realizing what it is that they want right and they're going forward um, towards you With that knight of wands based off of passion, but um, yeah, let's start seeing what is the clarifiers for this <clears throat> If I can place this deck down honey <clears throat> Wow a lot of major arcana so 
Okay, let's break this down, Gemini. We have the world card for them, confirming what I was thinking, the justice card, then the eight of cups coming in for them. So, I almost see this as uh, Gemini, someone identifying the cycle that they were in. They're, you know, how I was talking about like they're in this place of learning, it does seem like they were in this place of learning and seeing the cycles that they constantly had in their life. So maybe Gemini, they realize that they're always just like really bad with communicating or if they get triggered, then they just emotionally react really strongly, right? And they probably weren't aware of that issue from before, right? They weren't aware of it. And so um, during that self-reflection phase that they've been going through in this learning phase, they kind of realized what it is that they need to um, break out of, breaking out of that chain. So it's just like, okay, they identify the problem being like, okay, communication is my problem. I need to work on that, which is fine. Beautiful. Eight of Cups in the Justice card. I don't know if this person made the choice to walk away before Gemini, because this could be in two different storylines where it's just like, this person made a choice to walk away in, in the past, because I do kind of get this as like a past energy. So whether it's like they walked away or you walked away, Gemini, someone walked away and I'm getting, I'm kind of just getting the sense it's like them, even if they like, it wasn't like physically walking away from you, just emotionally detaching from the situation because of like their own cycles with that world card uh, that we were just talking about, Gemini. And this justice card comes in, the Libra card, um, brings things into balance. I see them identifying um, the mistake through something being walked away, whether it's like they realizing like what it is that was out of balance in their life that um, caused you to walk away, Gemini, or if they walked away, they're realizing like the mistake that they made in walking away. And that explains why they have this Knight of Wands um, coming towards you. So regardless of what it is, if they're the one that took off, they're coming back, trying to go back to you. Or if they're, if you're the one that moved on, Gemini, they're trying to go after you after they realize what it is. The world card, they're really going through a lot of transitions right now, Gemini. Um, not an excuse for their behavior, but especially with all these major arcana, especially with that world card coming in twice for them. Uh, did they? Yeah, they did get the world card twice. I thought I was crazy. I wasn't seeing it for a moment. Um, they definitely are going through some heavy transitions, Gemini. So um, take delight in the fact that they are in this place of self-reflection. They are learning. They probably do see um, where it is they could have improved in the situation. So Gemini, let's wrap up this reading with this Wheel of Fortune. What is the future of this connection? What can we hope for? What is best case scenario? All right. We have for you the Hermit card, Five of Swords coming in. I was getting the Hermit for their side, Six of Pentacles. So Six of Pentacles, I do feel like communication is going to happen this week. I do feel like um, there, because there's like this common theme of balance, being things being brought into balance. Um, and that's how this re issue reaches a resolution of things just coming into balance through some introspection, through some self-reflection, right? Through hermiting a little bit, having time away from one another, right? Five of Swords. Um, I do see this just as, again, I want to note in this deck too, like you see individuals walking away, both of them all kind of walking away, really. So it's just like, yeah, it does seem to be like some distance needed to be had to reflect, to see what's going on. And then now communication can start. I don't know how that communication is going to start. I do kind of see it from their side of things. Gemini with that Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups as the closing energy. Um, this is again... I just see this as someone, I just see, I see clarity. I see clarity coming into the situation, coming in for you. So regardless of how this situation pans out, even if you choose to reject them, I feel like you're going to get closure in the situation, Gemini, which I think is just so valuable, so beautiful. So that's the reading that I have for you, Gemini. If you enjoyed this reading, be sure to share in the comments below which card called out to you. Be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, and then also share my videos with a friend that you think might be into my videos. Until next time, Gemini, I love you so much. Bye.